Let's practice screenshots here in Excel 2013. You should have a print screen button if you have a PC uh, that takes a screenshot of the entire screen. So if I were to actually show my messy desktop here and press uh, print screen button and then go back to Excel and if I paste it I should see the entire desktop which is nice because it's nice to grab pictures so that you can paste it in and use it perhaps for documentation or tutorials. We also have the ability to create screenshots within Excel. If you go to insert tab there should be this little tiny icon that looks like a camera. You hit the little drop down box here and there's something called screen clipping. So if I take a screen clipping it minimizes Excel and allows you to take a screenshot of whatever window is behind, um, behind uh, Excel. So I can highlight this and I could alternatively um, highlight um, even a, a pause the video on YouTube uh, so or even the start button on Windows. So here you can see I just uh, copied a random uh, part of my screen from my desktop and this is uh, very useful. Now some people actually use other third-party software such as Snagit or some other uh, free uh, alternative. Um, but we do have the ability to take screen clippings right within Excel. Now what if you want to take a screenshot of Excel itself? You can have two Excel windows open and by going insert screen uh, shot, uh, screen clipping, uh, it allows you to minimize one one Excel window and the, the other Excel window will be right behind it. If you already have some windows open, if you go to insert and you go to this uh, little screenshot uh, window, rather than using screen clipping, which is used for uh, cutting out a certain uh, region, clipping a certain region, you can actually hover over the window that's open. So in this case I have notepad open with the words hello world on it and I click on it and you can see that it automatically grabs the entire window and this is uh, quite useful.